Hello, and uh, this is going to be a quick one, so um, should we just get into Premiere already? No, no, let's talk about what it is first. We're talking export settings for Instagram Reels and TikTok. How do I get these sharp, sharp, sharp videos inside of there whenever everybody always complains about the compression? I think we might have found a workaround, and you're going to criticize me for it, but you're also going to thank me because maybe you can use it for yourself right here. We have three frames inside of Premiere ready to go, ready to be exported, to go grow on TikTok, go get some traction, go grow these platforms. That's what we're trying to do here. Go ahead, we are going to Command M, a shortcut just to export. Now, we are not gonna use match source high bit rate. Absolutely not, that's what a lot of people use. That's why it ends up getting compressed. That's why your 4K footage doesn't look as good as it can. So we're gonna go over, we're gonna grab that preset. We're gonna scroll down, go to YouTube 4K Ultra HD. Select that and then right off the bat, you're gonna think it's weird. Why do we have the sides all black? We don't want that. We want a vertical video, not a horizontal video. So how we fix that, go to video, go down to basic video settings, click match source there, and then it will maintain the exact aspect ratio that we have in our sequence, but keep those great attributes of the YouTube preset so that the export will look nice, crisp, and sharp. A great thing about this preset it is at 40 megabits per second. We want high bit rates, especially with 4K footage, but there's more to this preset than just the 40 megabits. Obviously, we could go in, we could change the bit rate, but I find that there's something embedded in there that I can't replicate by myself, so I just use that preset as a base, a great place to start. Then we are going to go to use maximum render quality, and then that's it. Change the name accordingly, and go ahead, click export, it will export for you and then it'll be ready for you to go and post it on TikTok, post it on Instagram Reels. It's not that hard. Make sure you use AirDrop to get it from your laptop to your phone. AirDrop's definitely the best way. I go Apple to Apple, it makes it easy, it makes it simple, so that's what I'm all about, saving time in the best way I can. So, go over, post these on TikTok, let me know how they perform, let me know if you have any recommendations for how I can even make my process better, and in the meantime, I will see you soon. Goodbye, everybody.